Well, we're already arguing, so get ready. <laughs> Day nine. Day nine. Day nine, and we're all going a little batty. Okay, so it's Peppermint Vitality <laughs> today, our wellness boot camp for quarantine. And um, yeah, we're starting with oil right here. All right. So Peppermint. <laughs> in your face oil. <laughs> Well, this really is kind of an in-your-face oil anyway. It is. Very like, I mean, it, it's one of those that, that jumps at you. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Ooh, it's like all in the room. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. So what is the message, like the take-home message? I mean, obviously his video, like he did it and it's it's all, it's like chock full of good stuff, right? And one of the things that I thought we should kind of talk about, because I think it is a prevalent feeling out there and that you might be feeling this, that, you know, there's a lot of fear. I mean, there's economic fear, but there's fear about There's the wellness. literal, literal fear of this virus where we stay away, keep your distance. The social distance has become not just a matter of, I don't want to spread this, but I've actually seen that people are like, Hey, you're, you're in my space because I don't want to be around you. I don't want to be near you. Uh, and, and, and I'm like, wow, this is this is a little different than tr trying to flatten the curve on, on, on a societal level. Now it's personal, right? And why are we reacting personally in that way? Why are we, ho, 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 back off, back off, dude, you're too close, is because we're afraid. Afraid. We're afraid of this virus. Why? And, and I think, you know, in the news, well, one, we don't have good statistics yet. We just don't have them yet. And, and the, you know, scared about the death rate. And they're saying that people are, that are immune compromised, that have underlying health conditions are more susceptible or to having a, a big problem with this virus. To, yeah. To having a serious issue. And, and so we look out at the, at the population in the United States and probably 90% of the population would fit into that category. By our definition of, of wellness. having an underlying issue going on. So, I, I mean, how many people are, are on medication for anything diagnosable? That, that would tell me that's an underlying health condition. Right. And so if you're in that situation and you're feeling afraid, well, number one, yay, you're watching this video and yay, you are taking the time to invest in yourself and learn these skills. And to, you know, because that is going to increase your confidence, uh, your skills, trusting your body, trusting that you have skills to know what's going on in your body and trusting that you have an arsenal at your fingertips of what to, to how to help yourself. I mean, to get, get in the wellness zone and stay there. Amen. I mean, Amen. and never leave and the wellness zone ever. I'm not saying that doesn't mean we don't ever get sick. But the wellness zone is understanding and believing and having the confidence that our body is doing good things, our body's designed good, it does good things with the things we do, and that our decisions make a difference. Those are the three parts of the of the well of the uh, wellness zone, and we can stay that get in the wellness zone and stay there all the time, and that's where we are. Right, and so basically, you have the confidence to know that you that. You can trust the process through this whole thing, okay? And I love peppermint oil from that perspective because it is like in your face. It's an in you your can face experience. Feel it. You can feel it. And so, what one of the huge themes that we're doing through this wellness boot camp is how to increase your personal self awareness inside your body. What is going on inside your body, and is it going up or is it going down? And there's very little that's neutral. It's either up or down, really. And <laughs> um, and you need to know that on the moment. And peppermint is so great at honing that skill of in the moment. You can feel it. So so people often say, I mean, like uh, like for a supplement, any kind of a vitamin or whatever, typical vitamin, a typical supplement would be a vitamin. And they say, well, how do you know it's doing anything? Well, you take it for a whole lot and long time, you know, take it for weeks or months and then you quit it. And then, and then if you feel like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so it's our pepper, this supplement, you, you can feel, I mean, is it, is it getting into the tissue? Is it getting into the like, bloodstream? Mm, yes, uh, yeah, you, you can, can feel, feel it, it, right? So it's not the same as, oh, I take a vitamin pill and I poop it out the other end and with I'm the little like, one a day still printed, a better. still printed on the label, right? right? You've heard of that, that story of, of, of finding you know, these vitamin pills in, in, uh, in septic tanks because they're just going right through, right? 
And, and so you, we know for sure that this is doing something, uh, right? I mean, the, the molecules are getting in there. Okay, and so, so let's let's get them in there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it properly this time. This will be the first time in the whole boot camp that I have done this correctly. <laughs> and so here we the, don't have strong opinions the around here. Empty glass. This That's is right. how to do this properly now. And I'm gonna do the one drop in the empty glass, and then maybe now I'll give her drop. four drops. <laughs> No, just one. <laughs> one drop in a, in that size glass can be a really strong. This is a pretty strong. You're going to have a peppermint experience. Okay, like, and if now, I were doing it now for. You, then you put the water in. Right. So you are now been schooled. Up. It mixes up. Then <laughs> you can do it however you want. No. That's how you I prefer do, to do you it. You cannot do it. No, you, you cannot want. do it however you want. <laughs> I am now prepared. <laughs> With, with the pitcher of water. <laughs> you can do it however you want. To demonstrate um, the problem. I won't come into your house and tell you anything. Um, You're in their house right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So if I were drinking this just to drink it for like, oh, that tastes so yummy. I would probably put about a drop in a gallon. Now my oh, dad. Man. See, yeah, this is the more intense. This is the right... My dad this is the right puts, amount. Um, what, about <laughs> two, <laughs> two, three, four drops in this size. And so it just depends on what you like. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so your challenge is, we well, did this with Lemon Vitality, right? Was that just yesterday? Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a full uh, 24 hours ago. <laughs> so with Lemon, you can feel it. But, you know, maybe you can taste it. But um, with peppermint, you know, take it in your mouth and then hold it in your mouth and feel it going in. You can feel it going up. You can feel it going down. You can feel it going to your brain. Uh -huh. I mean, literally, you can, I can feel the molecules making their way into my brain. Now, mm -hmm. here is where quality of oh your gosh. wellness tool makes a difference, especially in essential oils. Mm -hmm. You don't want, I mean, there are so, peppermint oil is one of those very, very commonly synthesized oils because all they have to do is make menthol. And menthol is so potent that it will mask the fact that it has other junk in there, okay? And so if they're manufacturing menthol, and then you've got this other junk in there. Most people are not discerning enough. You need to be discerning. You need to be able to tell. Are not discerning enough to be able to tell the difference between a synthetic peppermint and a, and a real peppermint. I guarantee that the peppermint you're eating in a candy, in a peppermint candy, is just menthol. It's, chemi mm -hmm. it's chemically synthesized menthol. It's not peppermint oil. Okay. We had to stop eating some uh, mint flavored bars and things like that because it was it's synthetic menthol. It's synthetic, mm -hmm. and you can they can tell it. It's just that it's just, it's chemical. So my point on this is in the stop the poison category, we don't want to add any toxins in there. So I just told you that peppermint molecules are going into going the up. brain from putting this in the mouth. Well, that's great if peppermint molecules are good for the brain, which they are. They're high in sesquiterpenes. They have very, uh, 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 you know, can, can affect the brain in a positive way. But if this is synthetic and it's got to toxins, the manufacturing chemicals that are still Residue. contaminating mm -hmm. the, the, the process, which is a very common issue, well, then those compounds are getting, are getting pushed into the brain with the menthol. You see the problem. And so when you he read on the internet that essential oils are dangerous, you shouldn't be using essential oils, don't use it, da, 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 da. Uh, they, these people who are making those statements probably have direct experience of people getting hurt with essential oils. Things that are put in bottles, labeled essential oil, labeled 100% pure and natural, and it's not. So you've got to you've got to have good stuff, right? And and this is why we do Young Living because it's the seed to seal. They they micromanage every aspect every of the purity of the product, everything from the soil Test to at to, every stage. to the plant growth to the harvest yeah. to the distillation to the packaging. Everything is tested. And and so anyway, I'm just pointing out. Because you can feel it with peppermint. You can tell, and, and, and you know, this is moving into your body, into your tissue. So this is no joke. I mean, you know, we, we goof around a lot, but 
but this is no joke. This is this is the real deal of of something that you have that can access your body tissues as a supplement, labeled as a supplement, so we can talk about it this way. Putting it in the mouth goes right into the bloodstream and affects multiple body systems, right? So I just said even the brain. So right from here, this place right here, right to the brain, right to the respiratory system, right to the digestive system. In the video this morning, I talked about it only to the digestion and, and the, the respiratory, but it, it's the brain as well. Mm -hmm. and, and for that matter, the eyes, they're mm -hmm. right up underneath there. Mm -hmm. You know, don't get the peppermint near your eye, right? You'll know how... <laughs> Okay, so I got off on a tangent. No, on no, one, it's, but... it's good stuff. And so I, I'm trying to get my notes all back in here. Two two things um, that I want to make sure that we're going, and I think we'll come back and, and chocolate come cake into awareness. Is on the That's nose, right. Isn't it? Chocolate cake. I mean, we you have want to know about chocolate, about chocolate cake. cake. So go to the blog post if you're if you're watching this on on uh, Facebook. Click through to the blog post because I'm putting my chocolate cake recipe on there and with um, chocolate icing yes and it's all whole grain it meets our dietary standards for the wild wellness program which is um we start with no white flour no, trans no fats, white sugar no, no white trans fats, fats no, no sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil no chemical additives nothing all organic yeah and um well, it's starting all, to clear it's starting to whole grain move things and i call this my potluck cake because I take it to potlucks where people are used to eating standard American diet, and they eat it. It's it's okay for the general public. <laughs> yeah, they don't like leave it. On Most their of plate. our food people don't want. <laughs> right. In fact, when the when the grocery stores clear out, you know, like these pandemic type things, the stuff that we buy is still on the shelf. Well, yeah, that's why it was a little scary this time. Where this we're time, at. actually, <laughs> yeah, we, it was wiped out. But uh, but usually, like hurricanes and stuff, our stuff's still there. <laughs> Right, they're like, I'd rather starve. Um, anyway, so this is a potluck cake. It goes in even even without the peppermint icing, just the, the chocolate icing. It um it gets eaten, but it's but the really peppermint really peppermint icing yummy. on it is oh. so yummy. So, and it's it's four drops of peppermint in that one in the, batch, which for Amy is a lot. Yeah, but so, it's it's good. But it so, it really makes a difference. So go find that recipe, but. We didn't really talk about this with lemon, but we actually cook or, or prepare food a lot with lemon oil. Well, we like talked about hummus, putting adding it to lemons, fresh squeezed lemon. And anything that like you that, would but... use lemon for, like um, some of our oiler team uses it in, to brighten soups, um, anything that you would use lemon for. So there's a whole and, culinary kit yes, of vitality and, oils that Young Living has. And, and each of those can be, any of those can be used in salad dressings and all the rest of it. These are all as supplements and culinary. You so, basil oregano thyme you got Anything all the you different would put oils. mint in clove like, nutmeg tabbouleh um, fruit salad all that you might have to actually use the toothpick method because it is so strong um but the you, toothpick method is to dip stick the, a toothpick into the bottle and then swirl it into your recipe into your liquid to get less than a, a drop of that's like um, that's going to get you like a fifth of a drop yeah. and and if that's what you need sometimes it takes very little peppermint to make the minty flavor otherwise you might have like Okay. Fruit salad you, with you mint. have notes to yes. To... Well, I can feel <laughs> you want to make sure you you give them everything. I know. Okay, so this is what I would like to just really bring back in that the theme for the wellness boot camp is about self awareness, and that is the crucial skill. And so your challenge for today is to like challenge yourself. Like, what do I feel with the peppermint? Can I feel it going into the different how parts of the tissue? How far? How far can I feel it go? And then 10 minutes later, mm -hmm. can I still feel it moving through like the right lymph? right now, I'm feeling it in my stomach. Can I feel it moving through the lymph in mm -hmm. the neck? There's some challenges that you could, you could say, well, do I feel it actually moving in the lymphatic system? So, you know, use your conscious breath, bring, you know, bring your awareness into your body and see what you can feel. And, and that's the challenge for today. And um, so, yay. Um, connecting um, from the wellness strategy, we're talking about flooding the body with nutrients or giving it good resources. And the four essentials for life were primarily, we were talking more with water, but then from the supplement standpoint with food and of course baking. And then um, the wild wellness program, we talked about the digestive system because it starts up here in the mouth and then talked about the respiratory system and the, because it's also up here in the sinuses and then also down in, you can feel it going through and the nervous system, because again, you're going up. Well, and I just had another 
thought again about how all this weaves together, but they talk about the mouth uh, flora, right? Mm -hmm. That the, you know, the microflora in the mouth. And I had this argument one time about someone saying, don't put any essential oils in your mouth because it'll sterilize, it'll kill all the bacteria. There's no way that your mouth is going to be sterilized with essential oils. If that were true, then we would be able to make all kinds of claims about <laughs> essential oils just wiping out a bacteria all across the board. No, ain't going to happen. Okay. But the research is there to support uh, uh, statements that the flora is supported. In other words, it's the healthy flora in the mouth is, is supported and encouraged with essential oils. Uh, in, in you know present in mouthwash and things like that, which they've shown. This is this is sh research has been done for a hundred years, uh, and so this whole idea of the microbiome. You might have heard of this, and I've and I've I've heard some of this stuff come out that say, oh, avoid any essential oils in the mouth. That's just absolutely false. It's not true. There's no You're there's no data to support that. Next tomorrow we're going to be talking about the thieves products because you get a couple of them in the in the kit and we'll be talking kind of about the whole line and and the the idea behind it so again the idea that that you know you're going to kill all the microflora in your in your mouth and therefore in your gut no ain't gonna happen now but but good to keep them healthy so we'll talk about that with the thieves products tomorrow okay well y'all enjoy your minty freshness today and have a great day we'll see <laughs> Make you sure you do it correctly we'll see you tomorrow